in this lesson we will start our gsm machine virtual machine okay our ghost system so to do that let's go and click start we need to make some configurations here to be able to access this virtual machine if you receive this error just go to change network settings and automatically it will adjust the configurations here but if not just select bridge and select the need from where you are receiving internet connection and even if you see this message here just ignore it and click ok and the machine will start so here this is the login page the username is admin password admin all lowercase and you need to have a note of this number here with this number we are able to access the gsm on the browser just remember this number this ip address because we will use during the configurations so now let's log in username admin and hit enter the password admin so this option normally is for people who purchase the key all right we are using the trial version so if you click here yes no user for web interfaces of your gsm has been created has been created yet you want to create a global web admin now no we will create later okay i want to show you where you will find this configuration okay just click no all right so because we selected the option to set up now you see here we need to provide the key for those who purchase the gsm license but for our case we don't have the key so i will move to skip so here we have two nodes just hide okay and here we have the greenbone os administration first option configure the settings on your gsm enter let's go to networks select the second option and hide enter and here from here the last option we can display the current ip here you have slash 24 this is very important we need to provide this according to our network mask okay and enter and now let's go to interface this is the first option configure the network interface and hit enter all right so by default the interface is receiving ip address from the hcp server the network okay but i want to change it i want to fix a static ip so i need to go down until you find the static ip just hint enter and here you need to delete the scp and provide the ip okay i want to provide the ip so i will type here slash 24 because i'm using class c okay it, it will depends on your network mask hint enter and enter again as you can see now the dscp is disabled and the static ip is enabled okay so now i will scroll down until here save and hint save okay so now i just save it so now i need to go back first step is to set up the network settings we are done with that so now here you if you want you can see here information regarding to dns namespace if you want to set up it you can go ahead okay you can display even the mac address of the interfaces here but we will go back and now we need to go and user and password management just hit enter and we have here change the password of the current user this is the user we use use to access this system the green one os administration all right username admin the password admin if you want to change you just need to come here provide the current password and now the new one retype okay and look for this message this is very important please be aware that if you lose this password administrative access to your gsm will not be possible anymore pin it in mind right okay and now let's go to users and manage the web users okay let's hit enter so the first option is list users list all users all available users and as you can see we have no users yet so hit enter we have two options here we have this option create a global admin account we have here create a global super admin user do you remember that i told you that was not possible to create these users from the GSA Greenborn Security Assistant. Let's go back to Kali Machine. And here I have the users. We was able to create admin user, but we are not able to create this user, the global user from here. Okay. But we can create from, from here. From here we can create. All right. So let's go ahead. Instead of create a global admin, let's create a global super admin account. Okay. Because even between this one and this one, there are differences. Okay. So let's select here and click click ok create a global super admin account ok let's confirm let's select yes and hit enter ok here we need to provide the name the account name i will type here admin and now you need to provide the account password and you need to confirm the password after that you just go ahead and hit enter user create now we know the username we know the ip so we can go to the browser let's go to the browser and just type here 
you don't need to provide the port all right just type the ip advanced accept the risk and continue all right so now i need to provide the app the username admin and the password and now sign in okay so i was able to log in using the greenbone security manager all right if you go to about here you won't see greenbone security assistant this is a greenbone security manager let's go back to this virtual machine if you want to change the password you just need to come here to this option here change the password okay but we won't change nothing let's go back and now if we go to manage the web users and list you will see that we have only one user okay let's go ahead and create another one now we will create a global admin user okay let's list now great so now let's go back let's go back again and you have here this option we have greenborn security feed management just hunt enter when you are using a community version you receive feed updates from the community feed but when you are using a gsm and you purchase the the license you will be using a commercial version of feed all right that's why you are, you are seeing these options here but you can use the community from here so let's go back and let's go back again and here we have this option here perform maintenance actions on your gsm just hit enter and here you can back up manage your backups of our beam but we won't do this because this is a serial version and you have here update the greenborn security feed on your gsm and if you want to update just come here and hit enter to update the feeds so the update will be running okay so let's hit enter while the update is running let's go back and another thing here we are on maintenance menu and now you have this option if you want to shut down or reboot your gsm all right and you can come here the advances manage of your gsm just enter you will see the options here access functionalities for greenborn support you don't have support for community versions only for paid version commercial versions all right so that's all for now next lesson we will continue okay see you in next lesson